Today on SED TV, we'll be making a Mandy. Let's get started by placing our front bodice right side up. We'll take this edge and match it to the edge below the tie. So you're going to take this point and this point and match it to this point and this point by folding your bodice in half. Your tie will also be folded in half. Once you've done that, you're going to take pins or clips and go all the way around that straight edge and your tie. Then take it to your machine and stitch. Now that we've stitched our tie, we'll take it and turn it so that it is right side out. Use something to push the corner out so that it is nice and flat. There it is, our front tie is now right side out. So just take your front bodice and set it aside. Now we'll take our back bodice pieces and place them right sides together. Then pin or clip that back seam, take it to your sewing machine and stitch. Now go ahead and get your front bodice and place it so that it is right side up. You're going to take your back bodice and place it right sides together with the front. Pin or clip the shoulders, take them to your machine and stitch. If you're doing the long sleeve version, this is where you'll place your sleeve right sides together with your bodice. Go ahead and pin or clip, then repeat with the other side, take it to your machine and stitch. Now we'll move on to the tie. You'll see the notch here on the left. That will be matched with the seam that you created when sewing your tie on your bodice. So fold your tie in half. You're going to want to pin or clip along the bottom edge and then take it to your machine and stitch. After you've stitched your tie, go ahead and turn it right side out. Let's move on to the side seams. You'll see that I have my bodice with the back facing up, wrong side out. This just makes it easier because then your front bodice is laying flat against the mat so that you can match that notch from your tie to the seam that you created when you stitched your tie to your front bodice. Once you've matched those, go ahead and slide the tie inside the bodice and pin or clip the side seams making sure that you move the tie that is attached to your bodice away from the seam so that you don't accidentally catch it when you're stitching. So after it's pinned or clipped, go ahead and take it to your machine and stitch. Now that we've done our side seams, we'll move on to the neck band. So take your neckline and go ahead and find the quarter points. Now that we've found the quarter points of our neckline, we'll take our neck band, place it right sides together and stitch the short ends. Now that you've stitched your neck band, go ahead and take it and fold it so that it is wrong sides together and find the quarter points of it as well. After you get your quarter points, go ahead and bring your bodice back and match those quarter points from the neck band to the neckline. 
Remember when stitching the neckband to the neckline, stretch the neckband to fit, not the other way around. Now that we've finished our neckband, the only things left to do are to hem the bottom of our shirt and to go ahead and hem the bottom of our sleeves. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.